Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today to show you a demo of a safe development environment on, on a public cloud. So I work for Exoscale and we're providing an infrastructure as a service uh, such as uh, AWS or DigitalOcean. So I'm going to go straight to the demo because it's going to take a bit of time to run everything. Uh, script. And I'm going to tell you what I'm. Demo oh. uh, so first, I'm creating all the security r rules, security group rules, firewall rules for the um, uh, Docker and Rancher server. Then I can deploy straight out of my computer Docker instance. Who of you are using Docker but using another driver than the local one, like AWS or DigitalOcean or anything, just one. So you can, as you see, you can just start a VM which, on which afterward is going to install everything for Docker. And then we're going to be able to run our rancher on it right when it's ready. So it's taking a bit of time. So my first script was for here to set up the different rules. We have to open different ports, the SSH port, the, um, for the rancher server, for all the VPN IPsec uh, traffic. So there's a bunch of them. That's why I just wrote a script instead of writing all of them. So it's taking a bit of time to get everything up, even though it's just taking 30 seconds to spawn the instance on the cloud. But after it takes hour a minute to have Docker installed on it. So that should be done soon. So who of you is using like Docker every day to develop your app? at work or at home to play with it. So some of you, not everyone. But everyone has heard of Docker and tried somehow. OK. Come on. So we can see as well the instance is already up there. And you can choose when you're starting the Docker instance uh, which type of machine instance you want with memory, CPU, and this size on it. So I already put on the script, I'm going to uh, make it bigger. Can you see this? Yeah, it's big enough. So it was the first one was just to create with a driver, uh, exascale, the instance. Then, uh, as you know, you load the environment. And I started a container with a rancher server. I luckily tried this morning again, and I'm not using the latest one because they, it's not already very stable. And I couldn't choose another provider driver on the interface. So now I can do the curve. Machine and Dux UK. So I'm in Docker LS, uh, Docker PS. So as my container, and I can do and check the dogs or just attach it. <coughs> So then I can see when it's going to be ready. Most of the time spent when launching the Docker instance is really just on the SSL keys and needs to be created each time. 
So now I can get the IP of the server. Is it gonna be, I think it should be done. So first, we're gonna have to add a host so that we can launch new instances. So here you have a list of drivers, cloud providers, and so we're gonna enable the Exascale one. And we can go back, we can select Exascale, type E, uh, this one. Uh, copy. No, it doesn't come. I'm just going to get my secret key. <laughs> So I'm going to use the existing security group I just created before with all the roles already set. I'm going to say we're going to launch uh, three containers, one for Jenkins, Tomcat, and the VPN. So I could, have, I could decide to go with just one or three of Rancher is going to um, uh, start the instance and spread the load on all the containers. So I can have um see well Timo Dave I take small instance uh, root size and from here you can read you so that's all the sizes we have on the scale. You start them. So we're in the back now. Go back in the console here. It started the three instances on which we're going to run the containers. So now we're going to set up the VPN. We're going to put it on one container. So we're going to call it Rancher VPN Server. Uh, base image is Nixel Rancher VPN. Launches server latest. Um, I need to open two ports for the open VPN traffic. One one nine four, one one nine four. Uh, what am I here? And this one to get the configuration over. I also need to set etc open VPN. A volume so the configuration is kept on the server too and important to have full access to the host. So uh, I started one. I'm gonna start another one now uh, for Tomcat. Let's go to um, Tomcat 7.0. On this one, I don't need much. I can create it. And I'm going <laughs> to add the third one for Jenkins. And that's just Jenkins, latest image. And I need to put on the volume so the configuration is of the jobs is saved on the server too. Like this. So if I go, I have my three instances, which are still working to set up Docker and when it's going to be ready. So I should start to deploy the image on it. So I didn't choose on which one I wanted to have each container. Rancher is just taking the next one available. If I wanted to add one more, it would just take one of the three and put it there. So it's all up. So 
this instance ray is stating error, but it's going to. So here it's coming up. So here we can have we can see the public IP address of the instance, and now it's starting one of a Docker container on it, so Jenkins. So we're going to need first now to set up the VPN. So where is it's going to be on this one? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oops. No, I made it bigger. Keyboard stuff doesn't work. Let it begin one more time. So, this one is starting the VPN. So, from there, we that's the private IP address of each container inside of the rancher network, which is using IPsec to encrypt the traffic. And we can go and check, see the logs of the container starting. And it's going to give us a, a command line to download the configuration. We're going to use then on the client to connect inside the VPN. And that's what takes a lot of time to generate the key. Because if now, for example, like Jenkins is ready, well, as, since it's a private IP block addressing, you're not going to be able to reach it. And if even I use the public address and say, well, I know Jenkins is uh, running on ADAD. It's not going to do anything. It's really just bind on the private one. This is going to take a long time, yes. Two minutes left. Come on. Here we go. So that's the line. It, That's the line to download the configuration. So here I got the password. Give it there. I got it. I'm opening the configuration for VPN, adding it to my uh, local client here. And I can connect now over VPN. Got the address. And so from there, as you would see now, if I take the, let's say, Tomcat address. Oh. Oh, the space. So here I'm connected to my Tomcat. Well, I don't have time to show you, but from there you could either 
uh, deploy your app from Jenkins straight into the Tomcat, or even locally on your computer. You could just do your MVN, deploy, put the Tomcat plugin into your project, and deploy straight over the VPN to your instances on the cloud. And everything, now you don't have to think about opening ports or all the security since you overview the VPN. It's really safe, and you can just develop your app and give access to anyone you want to, or work as well from home, on the go, wherever you want. So, demo. So that's the final setup we have there, with your access to the VPN and all your container inside it. I'm going to put online the documentation, all the scripts, if you want to do it on your own. And you can use uh, this coupon code on the Exoscape platform to try it out, if you wish. And if there's any question, you're welcome.